Sikior is known as the Island of Fire. This beautiful and unique island is famed for its pristine beaches, lush forests, and vibrant marine life. Sikior is also known for its intriguing tales of witchcraft. Do I have you hooked yet? So come tour this island with us. And hey, while you're watching this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. We're just a small channel, so your support really makes a difference for us. So when we first arrived in San Juan Sikior, this is the place that we stayed at for the first couple days. It's called the Uptown Guest House, and it was $22 US a night. Super clean and just lovely. Here Randy is downloading a map from Google Maps and we've okay, rented bye. a bike from the Uptown Guest House, yep. which was just great. The cost is about $8 a day for the bike. Hi Randy. Hey. How, how much further do we have? To the Camp Goway Falls. Yeah. I think it's about 25 minutes, half hour. Okay. Yeah. How's the bike? Big. Biggest, best fog I ever had. <laughs> okay, getting back on the bike. So we have arrived at the falls. So here's where you get your tickets. How much are the tickets to enter? 80 each. 80 each? 50. 50. Okay. There are some tour guides for people that need assistance. We didn't. If you don't have water, you can buy water up at the top of the stairs before you head down. Just walking down the stairs, I don't know if you can hear the falls, but we can hear the falls. There's a slight bit of rain happening, so we'll see how it goes. So this is the Kambuka High Falls here on Secure Island, and they're probably the best falls on the island. Just look at the water, it is so blue. And then there's these platforms that you can climb up onto and you can make these jumps. Oh my God, here he goes. Coming here is just a great day trip. Come early, so avoid the crowds. So we're going to climb up Island View Tower here and we're going to have a great view of the entire island. So these are the steps up to the lookout point. Nice and easy. So we're climbing up here and it's just very jungle-like and we're climbing to the tower and it's going to be 557 meters above sea level. Wow, look at this view. It's incredible. So we're just continuing on on this road Down from Land Park. the Secure Tower to the Catabon Caves. This road is not even on Google Maps. We have it to ourselves pretty well. We all had other motorcycles, but we're taking the road less snowing. This is not even on Google Maps. So we're going to head to another cave now and we're going to go check it out. So for Cantabon Cave, no cave guide, no entry, but we're going to see if, what we can do, if we can just peek in and have a look. They locked Jill out and they said no, no sissies allowed. She's afraid of the cave. She definitely wouldn't be happy with this one. You're supposed to have a guide. There's the entrance there. You sort of got to crawl right in, but I think it's quite a spectacular uh, system. So as intriguing as those caves looked, I could, there's no way I could do it. We had talked to some of the guides and apparently you go up to your waist in water. So it was a definite no go for me. We are off to the century old tree. 40 pesos. This 
for two. Two. So this is the big 400 year old tree. There is a natural spring right at the bottom of the tree and it's just the bluest water. And then you can see everyone here sitting along. Uh, they've made so an area to sit Randy? where your feet are nibbled on by all what's these little like? fish. And it's a way to clean the dead skin off your feet. I'm starting to bleed a little harder now. I'm waiting for the big one to come. The, uh, the couple of women up there lost toes. They told me the big one up there. Hi, what's it like? <laughs> Does it tickle? No. <laughs> Just watch out for the big ones. The roads here in Secure, they're excellent if you ever want to try a scooter. But make sure you're always wearing your helmets because we came to a stop here and the Philippine police are checking for registration and helmets. You know, it's been years since Randy and I have been on a scooter, so this was a great place to start this again. And it really boosted our confidence, and I feel like we can do this anywhere now. So now we're just entering Peloton Beach, and we're going to go up to the tents and pay a small environmental fee. This environmental fee is a way to service the beaches, keeping them clean, and offering food stands, and just taking care of it. So this beach is simply incredible. It's, it's so peaceful and it's a sunset beach. So it's a great place to come at the end of the day. We just love it here. So I'm just gonna have a coconut uh, okay. and Thank there's you. so many great food stands and they're just excellent. Everything, vegetarian, anything you want. It tastes really good actually. Yeah. I'd have one again. That way. Yeah, how much does it cost? 70 pesos. Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to head back to our hotel, the Uptown Guest House. Unfortunately, we have to leave here tomorrow because we didn't book far enough in advance. Well, the sunsets here in San Juan are just incredible. We found this great little Thai restaurant. When was the last time you ever had spring rolls like this? It, it's so cute. It's, the presentation is wonderful. Yeah. Let's hope it tastes half as good as the presentation and we'll be okay. Uptown Resort, they were nice enough to arrange a nice ride to go to our other resort. Yeah. And they, unfortunately, we have to leave because they're fully booked. So yeah, if okay. you if you want to stay here, make sure you book and give lots of notice ahead of time. Thank you so much. Here, here. Hello. My cousin. Hello. Oh, that's that's cousin. Cousin. Yeah. This guest house is a real Welcome. family affair. Well, here we are at our new accommodation. The uh, it's right on the road, but our uh, our unit is is set back somewhat. So that's good. As you can see, it's the Jap tourist inn. And we're just waiting, they're cleaning our room. And there's lovely Jill sitting there looking pretty as usual. What do you think of your new accommodation? It's nice. Yeah? yeah? Okay. So, nice little courtyard here. And there's, I don't know, maybe six or eight. Uh, six or eight units and there's a big house next door apparently the seek your doctor's house so just gonna walk in and see the place looks really quite nice i like these railings they're very cool and this is our room so i'm just gonna open the door and see and this is the bed. It's a nice uh, queen size bed. Our luggage has just arrived. It's nice and bright. It's got a nice desk to work at and hot water. So we can boil some water for coffees in the morning, a TV, a fridge. And then I'm just gonna check out the bathroom over here. And it's, oh, that's nice. Very pretty. 
So nice, uh, actually a really nice shower and looks really, really pretty. I'm very, very happy with this place. So when in Secure, this is a great little restaurant that we found. Um, Randy's inside and it looks very nice, kind of what you would see, I guess, in North America. But uh, it has a great menu. Randy, what are you going to have? Uh, I don't know. The, uh, probably Indonesian. Okay. I'm thinking the, uh, the sizzling sizik. Okay. I'm I'm... It's sizzling. It's sizzling. So that's a Filipino... Sizik. Uh, yeah. A traditional dish that Randy's having. And me, I'm having fish and chips. Yay! So tomorrow we're going to circle the entire island on our scooter. Can't wait. This morning we rented a bike from our hotel for $8 US and now we're going to circle the entire island of Secure. Our first stop along the way is going to be Saladong Beach. The parking area. We're going to pay another park fee, and this is a way to help protect the parks. How much are the tickets? 50. You know, everyone is just so friendly and kind. Are you guys all um, local or visiting? Local. Local, okay. Where are you from? Canada. Well, wow. welcome to Siki Hor. Oh, yeah, we love it here. So, this is how you pronounce Salandu? Uh, and, and it looks beautiful. So Salon Dune Beach is really known for its cliff diving, but it's also a gorgeous beach to go spend the day here. Uh, Randy and I really enjoyed our day here. Randy went snorkeling and he went over to the tiny little island and there was a ton of fish there. We're going to test out and have a look at the cliff jumping. What that involves. Oh, the water looks beautiful. So this is the lower platform to dive off of. It's still pretty high. The higher one is 35 feet, which is, oh my God, it's quite high. Look at this. So currently the tide is too low so we have to wait. If you're planning a trip out here and you really want to dive, make sure you check the dive tables first to see if it's low tide or high tide. Oh, the water is so warm and clear and beautiful. It's just, it's sparkling. It's absolutely beautiful. And just watching, oh my, look at them go. Oh, that's a long way down and that was from the lower board let's see if this guy dives off the high one. Oh, lower one again so when you come here this cafe is just fantastic randy and i just had some noodles how were the noodles randy noodles were excellent they yeah. got a great menu here i think are you the owner or the manager The director. the director. Here's the director of the restaurant. What's the name of the restaurant? Salando. Hello. Hello. Everybody so hello. So when you're out on a scooter like this, we're going around the entire island and I think we will have had enough by then. So just be careful about not spending too long on the bike because you want to stay alert and focused. Well, I wasn't kidding. I told you they had police checks everywhere. Now Jill's being stopped. Did they give you, did they give you, did 
did they give you a ticket? No, where is my father? Good girl. And here's here's uh, Sikior's finest. So after the check stop, now we're just heading back, and there's so many cool little places along the way, and you see the people. It's just really cool. And this is the streets of Sikior. So this is our last night here in San Juan Sikior. And so we've decided to take a trike and we're gonna to head to the beach at Peloton for one last sunset. So there's actually two beaches at Peloton. There's small Peloton and big Peloton. Here we are at big Peloton and tonight is New Year's Day. And what a way to end our day our first day of 2024. New Year! Happy, Happy New Year! Happy New Year! 2024! Yeah. Sikior is known as the Island of Fire because of the fireflies. However, I think it's the spirit of the people. The people are so alive and they're filled with love and joy. It's beautiful here. How to get to Sikior. So you can get direct flights from Manila or Cebu to Dumaguete, but then you need to get a ferry on Ocean Jet to Sikior. So our time on Sikior is Bye. up and it's 7 a.m. and we're heading to the ferry and we're going to take a ferry directly from Sikior to Cebu City and this is a great ferry to take. Remember to book your ticket on Book Away early, otherwise you're not getting on the ferry. After going through security, now you're going to go in lineup to get your seat assignment for the ferry. Just remember, backpacks are allowed on the ferry. If you have luggage, you're going to pay for the luggage to go on. It's very crowded on the ferry, just so you know. These are the seats, these are so outdoor seats, the and it was quite hot, Randy and it's a five-hour trip. Long -haul. The cost Crowded of the trip is $45 US per year. person. When arriving in Cebu City, we recommend leaving the terminal to get your ride to wherever you're going. The taxis will be way cheaper. This direct ferry costs $45 US per person. Stay tuned for our next video. We are heading to Boracay, Philippines, and it's going to be really quite special. My youngest son, Jack, is coming to join us. For both Randy and I, our kids are all grown up. And, you know, when we lived even blocks away from them, it was hard to get together because they're busy with their own lives. But you give them a plane ticket and we have the best times together. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. We really appreciate all the support.